we hasten his return with holy conversation. Sons and Daughters of God, December 11th. The cross upon which Jesus died is a shelter in which we can hide and it's grace so free is sufficient for me and deep is its fountain as wide as the sea there's room at the cross for you there's room at the cross for you the millions have come there's still room for one yes there's room at the cross for you what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of god second peter chapter 3 verse 11 and 12 many who profess to be looking for the speedy coming of christ are becoming conformed to this world and seek more honesty for the applause of those around them than the approbation of god many of these professed christians dress talk and act like the world and the only thing by which they may be known is their profession though they profess to be looking for christ their conversation is not in heaven but on worldly things what manner of persons ought those to be in all holy conversation and godliness who profess to be looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 11 and 12. The way to heaven is rugged, briars and thorns are in the way, but we can with cheerfulness tread the rough pathway, knowing that Jesus, the King of glory, once trod it before us. We will rejoice that we can follow in his footsteps and be partakers with him of his sufferings that we may finally partake of his glory. What if reproaches are heaped upon me, even by those who profess to be looking for the Lord? Shall I complain when Jesus bore the scoffs and derisions of his own people? No, I will not complain. I will rather rejoice and be exceeding glad that I am accounted worthy to suffer for Christ's sake, that my reward may be in heaven. Only let me have an inheritance in glory, and it will be enough. Let us strive to be Christians, Christ-like, in every sense of the word, and let our dress, conversation, and actions preach that Christ is formed within. The hope of glory and that we are looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of Jesus. My affections, interest, treasure, all is in the bright world to come. I long to see the King in his beauty. Ellen G. White Daily Devotions with In Hope of Eternal Life Ministry.